10 income generating tasks. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about a very important part of every single day, auditing how many income generating tasks you are doing. You see, when I speak to a lot of fitness professionals, they get to the end of a full day and they focused on what they're inspired by at the moment, which is coaching, their own training, their own nutrition, check-ins, and doing a little bit of what they know that they want. More clients, more leads, more sales. Now, they are important to you, but on a day-to-day -day basis, very often because you don't really know what you need to be doing, you get to the end of the week and you'll be the first person to say, didn't go as well as I planned. And then at the end of the month, guess what you're saying to yourself? Well, this month was a little bit slow. I disagree. You see, you, when it comes to your training, are very intentional. And there is intentional training to produce an outcome. And there is very habitual training, which is just going to the gym, okay? When I go to the gym, I am intentional about the weight that I want to lift and the intensity that I want to bring. When people go to the gym and just do a workout, what do they do? They just do a workout, they tick a box, okay? When you do your day in business, you can tick a box. And then at the end of the week, the end of the month, like people in the gym, I wish I'd dropped some more body fat. I wish I'd got a little bit stronger. When you are intentional about money and making money, then you are going to focus on income generating tasks. So I have 10 here that I'm going to take you through. Number one is generating conversations in your inbox, whether you're using Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. You have to be intentional about starting conversations with people, either through your posts, likes, engagement, stories, people following your page, just to name a few. You have to be focused on hitting a particular number of new conversations every single day by you initiating that process. Now, what will a DM do? A DM leads to a conversation. A conversation has the high percentage, if done right, of leading to a sale. So that's number one income generating task. Number two is strategies to generate incoming direct messages. Incoming messages. Now, that's not necessarily somebody just sending you a message saying, hey, I'm interested in what you do. It's you doing something through either a call to action, putting a post out there, putting some results out there with a clear call to action that if you're ready for the next steps, send me a DM with the keyword so-and-so or click the link in my bio to apply now. What you can also do in your stories on Instagram is you can give away something in exchange for somebody sending you a DM with a keyword such as results. Now, if you provide something for free, whether or not it's a review of um, a client's training that they've gone through to achieve a certain result and you break down the steps that you did, you give away a training explaining what that is, or you give away a training template, or you give away part of your running training schedule, whatever it may be, supplementation protocol, how you prep prepare your diet, giving away anything in exchange for a DM means that someone's going to DM you a keyword. If they DM you a keyword, guess what happens? You can then start a conversation. Now, if you look across your week, are you consistent with your conversations? Possibly not. Do you have days where you don't do them? Quite possibly. Do you have days where you actually try and generate inbound inquiries to your business or inbound conversations? Likely not. Booking sales calls, actively going out there and engaging with people and booking calls. You see, even in inside the DMs. You could be actively having conversations with people. My intention when I'm inside my DMs is if I'm going to do an hour, I want to come out there with at least two booked calls. And I stay there until I've got them done. And then I refine my skills, my systems and processes to ensure that that actually happens or my team. Okay. So that's number three. Number four, delivering sales calls. Actually blocking out times in your week that you actually have for sales calls. You have your Calendly link that you're presenting to people when you're booking in sales calls. You know, a lot of coaches, when it comes to the delivery of sales calls, they're too busy with their training. They don't block out specifics to say, right, between three and four, three and five every single day, I'm going to block out for two sales calls. Your day runs ahead of you. You don't end up having time to be able to fit these in. As a result of that, you get to the end of the week and very little sales calls. Number five, planning, sitting down and planning promotions, events, photo shoots, client events, you know, challenges at periodic times of the year that you can launch. Now, this will require six to eight weeks of planning and content creation and strategies and launch planning for something in January, in Christmas, let's say between Christmas and New Year. Then you've got the New Year again, and you've got this rotation of planning events. You know, these are income generating because when you put launches on your social media platforms, you get a lot of flood of inbound inquiries or to a landing page, whatever it may be. They are income generating tasks. Tasks. 
Just wanted to stop the video for two seconds. Now, if you find my content helpful and you want to learn more from me, you want access to resources, you want more free trainings and live weekly webinars, then make sure you click the link in the description. Make sure you head over to my Impact and Integrity free Facebook group. Now, let's get on with the video. Number six, this may be appropriate for where you are in your business right now, but I have to create new creatives for videos, for advertising strategies. We have to have new photos. We have to have new creative ad campaigns. If something's not working, what are we doing next? What campaigns are we actually doing from a lead generation and marketing and paid advertising? You know, if you don't plan anything in for the whole of the month when it comes to lead generation and marketing, don't be surprised that you don't have any clients coming through. You see, it's unrealistic for a business that's doing two sales calls a week to be saying, I want to jump up to 30 sales calls a week. But can you certainly with better incoming generating tasks go from two to five? A hundred percent. The reason you're not going from two to five is because you haven't got these income generating tasks in place. So creating ad strategies if appropriate, lead generation and marketing strategies. Number seven, seven days a week. How often are you focusing on referral strategies? This is a huge income generating task. Referrals and retention. Now, on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll have clients finishing with you in a month's time. When clients do come to the end of a process, you need to get them on a renewal call. Are you focusing on renewal call? Are you focusing on the clients that are achieving great success in your business and asking for a referral? Do you have a referral incentive? Now, imagine across the week, you're able to do renewal calls for clients, which is new sales if somebody chooses to stay on. So that's an income generating task. Renewals are sales. And then you're able to do referral campaigns where you're actively going out to people that are showing signs of huge progress and saying, you've done incredibly well. I just wonder whether you'd be happy as a referrer incentive, give a month or two free coaching, depending on how much you're selling. You know, if you're selling six to 12 months worth of coaching, you can afford to give, you know, month and a half or two months worth away of coaching in return for somebody referring somebody to you. So retention and referral strategies are massive income generating tasks. You're there focusing on how many new clients can I get? On the back end, I'm focusing on referral strategies and retention strategies to make sure we get more people into the business. Number eight, following up with old applications. Go to your type form if you use type form or whatever form you use for your applications and export a CSV file of everybody that's applied for your coaching program. Anybody that's had a call but didn't sign up with you. Boom, straight out to these people. Follow up with them. You applied for our program recently. Is this something that you've decided to no longer go ahead with in terms of, is this something that you're, you've are you decided to park in terms of a goal? And then it'll give the opportunity for the person to say, oh, no, 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 um, just the wrong timing, but things are starting to come up to change. If you don't go back out to people that applied for your coaching program, if you don't go out and actually say to somebody, hey, I know you've uh, reached out to us to achieve whatever it was. And I'm just curious, is this something that you've given up on the idea of? They will be like, oh, no, no, no. Now imagine you did that to 50 people. Do you not think you get a few people coming back to you who'd be keen to kind of get back involved or at least speak to you? So working on follow-ups. Number nine, it's following up. Follow, follow, follow up with conversations. So for example, five days ago, if you ended up having 50 conversations and 40, 35 people do not reply to you, you could have a simple follow-up and just say, hey, John, just following up from my conversation this week, nudge people, move people along. The amount of times that we re-engage people that have not replied to a message and they come back with, sorry, it's been a busy weekend. Sorry, I had lots on at work. Yeah, in response to your question, this, and then the conversation moves along. Now, I'm up to nine, right? And I, I'm just going to whiz through them and ask you because number 10 is really, really important. I want to save that, but I'm just going to whiz through one to nine. I want you to put one to nine in the comment below to tell me which one you're going to implement. So we had generating outbound conversations, generating inbound strategies for conversations, booking in sales calls, delivering sales calls, planning promotions across the year, creative ad strategies or lead generation and marketing strategies, working on retention and referrals, following up with old applications, and then following up with recent conversations and not just allowing them to fade into the, the distance. Now, number 10, it's a big one. I make money when I study marketing. When I study what's called direct response marketing, it's the ability to take a customer from your account into your world and ultimately get somebody to pay you money. That's direct response. I study direct response. What paid ad strategies can we do? What organic strategies can we do to bring somebody into our world, bring somebody closer to having a call with us? That's one thing. The second thing that is massively income generating 
is studying sales, studying the art of closing. You see, for me, if I'm closing 30% of 10 sales calls, I'm only getting three. If I study sales and at least do an hour on direct response marketing and combine in their sales training at least some point during the day, I'll listen to YouTubes. One of the great things for me doing five days a week of cardio, 30 minutes of cardio a day, is that I watch videos on the areas that I want to upskill in. And if I'm watching direct response copywriting and sales. These are all income generating tasks because the better I get, if I have 10 sales calls and close three and I do 10 sales calls as a result of studying and close five, it's income generating. I've gone from 30% to 50% close rate on sales. Now there's 10, 10 for you to look at and 10 for you to say, wow, I'm not even scratching the surface on what I could do to bring more revenue into the business. Now, each and every single one of those requires knowledge, work, discipline, and training. If you want our help to implement these into your business in a very strategic manner, manner analyze your business of where you are, and show you a framework of how you can get to where you want to be, then all you need to do is click the link in the description, follow the page down, book a call, and speak to my team. If you want to reach out to me personally and you're listening to this on iTunes, just go to Instagram, drop me a DM, and I'll put you in touch with our team, and we'll show you how we can help you. For now, as always, thank you for listening or thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon.